Hey ladies and gents and welcome back. So today we are going to do another boot overhaul for you. This is a pair of Red Wing Classic 6 inch mocks that were sent to us. This gentleman actually sent them to Red Wing prior to sending them to us, shame, shame. And Red Wing of course said, sorry, no go man, we cannot fix these. So he sent them to us and today we're going to give them a complete overhaul. As you can see, the welts on the toes of these have completely started to pull away. The welts on the back have completely pulled away. The soles are beat up and ready to be resold. The boots need a total overhaul, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the sole taken off, and this is basically a midsole that is attached to the welt, and the sole goes on that. But you can see that the welt is clearly gone here. It didn't just pull away. The owner actually kind of ate through the welt, so it's completely missing right here. So obviously we're gonna have to remove this midsole and then pull this welt off and replace that. So let's get to work on this. Okay, so these boots are in really rough shape, as you can tell. There's not a whole lot that we're gonna be able to do for the uppers. He, the customer didn't really ask that we do much to them, but we still wanna clean them up. You can see that there's some deep gouges and whatnot in the leather here. But we're gonna to try to wash these down, clean as much of this dirt and just overall dust and grime off of these. And then we'll try to put the color in, back into them and then condition the boots. Uh, we want to do all of this before we put the shoes on because this is, these are going to have white stitches on them and we definitely don't want to have those brand new white stitches and then dirt getting all over them. So let's get these cleaned off and then we will continue on with the resole.
So the gimme was torn in a couple of different areas. Uh, the toe on one of the boots back here on the heel portion and, and on the other one. So what I did was I took this piece of linen and I glued it, glued the inside or the insole of the shoe, and then I pressed it on there. It's basically, it's just reinforcing those spots. And just like a lot of really high-end shoes that cover the entire insole rather than just, you know, wrapping it around the edge, uh, that's what we did to this one. And now I'll cut off the excess and then stitch on the well. So as I mentioned before, the midsoles on the original, or should I say the original midsoles were worn out. So we're obviously going to have to put on some new ones. And I've got this piece of leather here. We're going to cut out our own midsoles and then put those on.
All right, guys, so I, what I did for a lot of you guys that may not know, I went ahead and put a midsole on here. Anytime you add a rubber sole, like these really thick ones, you obviously cannot stitch through this. So what you need to do is put a midsole on and we stitch the midsole onto the welt. So now it's held on really well. Now I can put the glue on the glue on this and it sticks. So that's what we did when we went through and stitched this and whatnot. So I just want to catch you up to where we're at now. So let's go ahead and get this glued on. All right, so we'll put a couple of coats on both the sole and the midsole. And with this type of glue, we're gonna let it set up. And when I say set up, it's gonna dry. And when it dries, we reheat it and that reactivates the glue and makes it really bond well. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, ladies and gents, so we have wrapped up this pair of Red Wing boots. But before we show you what they look like now, uh, just a couple of quick reminders. If you are not following us on Instagram, then please go down to the description below and check out the uh, Instagram accounts for both of our businesses, Potter and & Sons and Southern Polished. We would really appreciate you following. Also, if you are wanting to send your boots or shoes into us to be repaired, or if you're looking for great shoe care products to take care of those boots and shoes that we discuss with you so often on this channel, then definitely check out potterandsons.com. The link is right there below, and we will also put the link in the description. So as you saw, this pair of Red Wings was in really rough shape. Uh, when they came in to us, the uppers were in rough shape. They, you know, the color faded on them. Uh, they hadn't seen conditioner in a while, at least it didn't look like that. Um, the owner of these had worn uh, the welt on the toe and the welt on one of the back portions of the heels completely off. Uh, he had torn away from the boot, the welt was missing on the toe portion of one of these, 
and we had to completely rewelt these. Gimme was also torn in a couple of places, so we had to replace that. And after that was done, you know, we went ahead and just re-dyed the uppers, uh, conditioned those. Uh, we put some oiled leather cream on it because this is an oiled leather. So we tried to put them back as good as possible and condition that leather as deeply as possible. Also, we put on some new white Christie soles uh, that this individual had asked for. And I think they look a million times better than what they did. Uh, they should be good to go. And these boots should last uh, for, for quite a while. So anyways, we're going to start uh, giving a shout out to whoever's boots or shoes we choose for these videos. And in this case, these boots came in from Christie from Massachusetts. Uh, so Christy, thank you very much for sending these in to us. We really appreciate it. Okay, we hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and until next time, y'all have a good one.